All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I got another great Mr. Olympia comparison video again for use today. And boy, oh boy, is this going to be a good one. Between 2019 Mr. Olympia winner, Brandon the Beast Curry, versus 2015 Mr. Olympia winner, Phil the Gift Heath. Now, guys, I know this isn't the best version of the gift, but it was a hell of a lot better than the performance he put on a year before at the 2014 Mr. Olympia. I mean, he looked absolutely horrendous in 2014. And I don't know what happened because in 2013, Phil looked his absolute best, in my opinion. And I actually just did a video on 2013 Phil Heath versus 1998 Ronnie Coleman yesterday. And Ronnie won by a point or so. But anyways, I got him going up against the beast Brandon Curry, who looked really good here at the 2019 Mr. Olympia, even though I still think he looked a little bit better at the 2019 Arnold Classic. But that's neither here or there, because we're going to put Phil up against the 2019 Mr. Olympia version of Brandon the Beast Curry. So guys, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. And so without any further ado, let's get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, guys. The front relaxed. And this was a tough one. And I tell you, this was a pretty, pretty tight comparison, I gotta say. And uh, Phil Heath did pretty well in this comparison for it, you know, not being 2011, 2012, 2013 Phil Heath. But it was a lot better than 2014 Phil Heath, like I said. But anyways, I'm going to give Phil Heath the first point for the front relaxed. I mean, I always usually give Phil Heath the first point for the front relaxed. He just looks so good holding this pose. Even though his midsection is protruding a little bit and his quads are a little washed out, he still looks a little bit better than Brandon Curry. But I tell you right now, if this was 2019 Arnold Classic Brandon Curry, I would probably go with 2019 Arnold Classic Brandon Curry. But I am going to go with Phil Heath. So Phil Heath is going to get the first point. All right, guys, now we got the front lat spread, and look at Brandon Curry. Holy shit. He is just a freak in the front lat spread. One of the best front lat spreads I've ever seen. If only his quads were just a little bit bigger and more separated, he would just look even crazier in this pose. So I am going to give uh, Brandon Curry the point, because Phil Heath is very narrow. He is so narrow in the front lat spread, it's not even funny. All right, guys, off to the next pose, and we got the side tricep, and Phil Heath is going to take this one. Phil's got an amazing side tricep. It's so thick, nice and deeply cut. Then he's got a big forearm and a big bicep and shoulder to go with the pose, and his silhouette looks pretty good as well, and his midsection's not protruding as much as it usually does in this pose. Now, if you look at Brandon Curry, look at how smooth his tricep looks. That's because he's using oil, but I digress. So Phil Heath is going to grab the point there. All right, guys, off to the next pose. And we got the front double bicep. And you know what? Phil Heath looks really good, but the silhouette is just horrible on Phil Heath. I mean, the midsection looks like shit. The quads are just washed out. His arms look okay, but I am going to go with Brandon Curry, even though Brandon's using a little bit of oil in the biceps. Brandon's fucking silhouette is unbelievable. And he tilts his body to the right, making him look so aesthetic. Very, very aesthetic with that tight midsection. His quads look pretty ripped here too. So all in all, I'm going to give the point to Brandon Curry for the front double bicep. All right, guys, now we got the hands on the hip most muscular. And this was a really tough one, actually. But I am going to go with Phil Heath because Phil Heath is a little drier. And Phil's abs are so diced compared to... Uh, Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry's abs are a little washed out, a little smooth compared to the Arnold Classic. So all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the point because Phil just looks drier. Phil does look really, really good in this pose. Now imagine his midsection was tighter, right guys? All right, guys, now we got the side chest shot. And look at Phil Heath in this pose. I tell you, some of you guys like Phil Heath in the side chest pose, but I don't. I really, really don't. That left arm covers up the left pec. It makes the left pec look so much smaller. And Brandon Curry, he's got a fucking nice side chest. His side chest is popping way more than Phil Heath's side chest is popping. He's got nice striations to the chest, striations to the shoulders, arms, nice side sweep to the quads. So I'm going to give Brandon Curry the point for the side chest shot because Phil Heath is just very shallow in that pose as well. All right, guys, now we got the rear lat spread, and this was a tough one. Look at Brandon Curry. He looks like he's about to fly away, Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry looks like he has fucking wings. Look at those lats, and the traps are unbelievable. Hams and glutes, not as good as Phil Heath's, and um, I tell you, 
This was a tough one, but I'm going to go with Phil Heath. I think Phil Heath looks a little bit better. Plus, Phil Heath's lower back is fucking crazy. His traps are insane. It looks like a piece of armor. I say it all the time. It looks like a fucking piece of armor on Phil's back. So I'm going to go with Phil Heath because Brandon does look like he is holding a little bit of water in this pose. All right, guys, off to the next pose. And we got the ab and thigh. And Phil Heath's abs might be a little more deeply cut, but the silhouette on Brandon Curry is crazy. Look at the V-taper. Then look at how tight his midsection is compared to Phil's. It's way tighter. His waist is way tighter. And his quads look a little bit better because his quads aren't as washed out. So all in all, Brandon Curry's going to take the point there. All right, guys, now we got the rear double bicep and the last pose of the night. And look at this. I tell you, Brandon Curry's got a really good rear double bicep, but it ain't fucking with Phil Heath's rear double bicep. Look at how ripped Phil Heath's rear double bicep is. Look at his traps, how sunk in they are. The lower back is ridiculous. The hams and glutes are on point. The shoulders and arms look nice and big. I mean, Brandon Curry looks really good too, but he looked better at the 2019 Arnold Classic in this pose. And I know I keep making references to the 2019 Arnold Classic, but that was Brandon Curry's best performance, in my opinion. But anyways, guys, let's tally him up. We got Phil the Gift Heath with five and Brandon Curry with four. So it was five to four. Phil the Gift Heath over Brandon Curry. But you know what? 2015 Phil Heath was a Mr. Olympia winner. And I mean, if you put these two up on stage next to each other, Phil Heath would probably come out on top just because he's so fucking dry. I think Brandon was holding a little too much water here at the Mr. Olympia. And like I said, he looked better at the Arnold. But I digress. So guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.